Today, we're gonna do a culinary mash app. Mash app? Why, yes, Chef Esty, a mash app. <laughs> mash ups have been all the rage as of late. People are combining different cuisines, different ethnic backgrounds. So your challenge today is to serve up an original mashup appetizer creation. Yeah. I never made a mashup before. I'm in fine dining. I don't usually put two things together. So I'm thinking I'll just show off my French cuisine with a little bit of Italian cuisine. I'm gonna go with the caprese salad that I'm really known for, and I'm gonna mash it up with the pistachio encrusted sea bass and Reblanc. It's an entree with an appetizer. To me, that's a mashup. Because I'm a kid, I think of food at mashups a lot. I'm making a lobster roll deviled egg mashup with crispy buttery panko and caviar. It's a mashup with a deviled egg and a lobster roll. My game plan for this is to keep it safe. My pistachio encrusted sea bass with the beurre blanc, that's one of my entrees. I'm just gonna go with that. Now what's going on with these breadcrumbs here? It's like a garnish for my lobster roll. I like that you use the panko because they're really nice and um, flaky. Chef Chris, how's it going over here? Beautiful. So tell me what elements of like two different dishes to make it a mashup do you have going on here? I'm doing an appetizer with an entree. Oh, great. OK, cool. So it's going to be kind of like a caprese meets a pistachio crusted fish. Yes. This is my lobster roll double egg mashup with crispy buttery panko and caviar. Let's taste Chef Esty's dish. It's too salty. The lemon will cut through that, though. I made really good eggs. I'm worried my dish would be a little too small for the judges. Chef Espy, you really nailed the mashup challenge. All the different flavors that you'd expect from both of those dishes came through. It was a very well done dish. Thank you. Chef Chris, please explain your dish. I made a caprese salad with a pistachio encrusted sea bass and a balsamic glaze, also with Cabernet or Blanc. So the judges are eating my dish. I don't think they were expecting something like that. Chef Chris, I really appreciated the ambition that you had in making your dish today. You know, you really showed us what you're made of as a chef, bringing out all these different techniques. It was a very pretty plate. Unfortunately, I don't think it all came through. I didn't really understand what the mashup was. This is just kind of like an entree that has a lot going on. Well, Mike, Alia, who gets to pick an advantage from the menu for the next round? So at the end of the day, we've decided the advantage goes to Chef Esty.